The National Airspace System is designed by the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, to protect persons and property on the ground and to establish a safe and efficient airspace environment for all aircraft. One of the ways the FAA does that is by creating airspace categories and depicting them on aeronautical charts. The charts contain information including, but not limited to, classes of airspace, special use airspace, and airport locations. For UAS operations, the four main types of airspace are controlled, uncontrolled, special use, and other. For most drone operators, a sectional or terminal area chart provides sufficient detail and information for you to safely conduct your flight. Sectional charts include airport locations, depictions of controlled airspace, restricted areas, and obstructions. They cover a large area and are named according to the major metropolitan area within its boundaries. Terminal area charts provide a zoomed-in depiction of select cities. They're usually centered on Class B airspace and provide more detail than a sectional chart. The date range in which a particular chart is valid is always printed on the actual chart. Almost all are updated every six months and can be accessed through the FAA website. The FAA also provides airspace data to public and third-party applications through the FAA Open Data Initiative. As you look at the charts, remember that while the chart is two-dimensional, it's representing three-dimensional airspace. Regardless of where you fly, the FAA regulates airspace from the ground up. This means if you're flying outdoors, no matter how low or how far away you are from a city or an airport, you must understand and comply with airspace requirements.